Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and we're doing something a little different today. Um, I shot, I'm shooting a video to show you how to use Marius Wishes. It is beautiful, and you can do it without doing it as I'm going to do it, but I made it into a shaker card. And this is the card I came up with, and you'll notice it's a little messy around the edge. And that's because I was playing with it, trying to figure out how to get this to become a shaker card and get it to hold. Then it dawned on me that the in the ornament is two inches around. So grab your two inch punch. Then I grabbed my one and three fourths, and that is for using your clear plastic, which I had out here. I seem to always want to lose that clear plastic because obviously it's clear. So we're going to see if I found it because we got to have it. There it is. It's underneath everything. I'm going to lay it up there and then maybe I can see it better. So anyway, I've already done, took the framelits, which is your Marius Tags framelits. That came out of my drawer and ran it through the big shot and you're going to run it after you stamp it obviously you're going to run it and you're going to put it the center piece in and make sure you've got a good solid plastic that's not going to move when you go to run it so then it's going to come out like that so it's going to look like this okay then what I did, and I'll show you some of the cards in a minute. What I did is I took the one and three fourths paper, uh, and punched a clear window. Okay, if I can get it to go, there we go got it a clear window okay so now I'm gonna lay that up there again so I don't lose it then we need a the two inch circle punch and punched now I'm gonna lay that down okay so now you have this now your next step is to take that clear piece and glue all the way around your edge of your circle and try not to get any going out on the edge okay try to keep it all self-contained now notice I got a little glue where I didn't want it so you got to be really, really careful. Okay. Then your next step is to take this tape that Stampin' Up! has. It comes in a strip. It's the, your tear tape. And I'll put the exact name and the supplies on my site for you. Okay. This side is sticky. And this is not long enough. And I do not want to do piecemeal. Okay, so now I'm going to pull a whole strip out, and you're not going to need all of it. But I'm going to take, and I'm going to start working my way all the way around this Mary Tag ornament. And I've got the sticky part down. And get it as close as you can. I'm going to move this up. Okay. I've done a circle around with the sticky part down. I'm bringing it in here. And now I'm going to cut it. Okay. And I'm going to take this and put this back on to use for another project. And lay that aside. Okay. 
and then you're going to take this mica. Now, do not take the top off yet. Okay, this comes in green, white, and gold. You don't need a lot, you just need a smidge, but you want to keep it where it stays right in the center. And I'll tell you, it sticks to your fingers because my hands are sticky and it's sticky. Okay, then I'm going to take and I'm going to carefully peel, if I can get the grip on it, it should not be sticky already maybe I took the top off and didn't realize it okay. yeah yeah I've already taken the top off try to keep the top on when you're doing this before you take down I think it's already on I hope and then you're gonna take and put your circle that you punched and get it right over it and then you have your you have your shaker card so then it will look like this okay and then just get your gold ribbon your gold twine and just tie it at the top and then glue it on so this is very easy but I wanted to show you exactly how to get this Mary's wishes as a shaker card okay I've made a couple other cards. They'll be up on my Pinterest board or on my Facebook. So you'll have to go check it out to see where I put each of these. Okay. This is the one I told you that was the deer. And I've colored it. Is all I did. And I used the dazzling diamonds across the bottom. Okay. So, and I used blue, sky blue for the background. Okay. Then this one I did like in 15, 20 minutes is really pretty. And that's using your gently falling. And then I just did a silver and a navy blue. And then I used the dazzling diamonds behind and then cut out this all in white. And you could take on here and then stamp your sentiment, your greeting there right across it. I just didn't do that real quick. But that's an idea. So, I used on this one here, the pines and boughs, or pine cone, embossing folder. Okay, the directions on the information on this, on your supplies, will be on my stamping blog. So, do check out Stampin' Pink Rose, where stampin' ideas are always in bloom. And here's another real quick idea on how to use and get a shaker card without a lot of headache. So again, this is Pamela. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.